remember a while back when I was talking about Atlas and their fine ass being put up onto the auction block because their parent company, Index Digital Media, had fucked their financial situation directly into a dirt where it was never going to come back, so they had to go and sell off their assets uh, pretty much break even, or else the IRS was going to come and claim their anal virginity. So one of the companies that was going after them, one of the most notable companies, was Sega. Well, Sega ended up winning out of the entire lot. They spent about like, uh, I think it was, came out to like 114, 115 million to go and obtain Atlas and everything that is Atlas. So since they're now bed buddies and they're one big happy family, so it's Sega Sammy and Atlas put together. Everybody had varying opinions about this, especially since one of the other companies that had put up a notable bid was Nintendo. I was kind of surprised though, because Nintendo has a shit ton more money than everybody else that was making a bid. But yeah, Sega ended up winning out on that. So everybody was going and saying all the good things about it, all the bad things about it. And naturally, I've got tons of opinions about it. So firstly, I'll, I'll go over one of the things that actually has me kind of worried about it. Atlas, who is known for making relatively niche games. Um, Sega isn't exactly the best company when it comes to bringing stuff outside of Japan. Uh, Sega of America, for example, had pretty much damned the poor fucking Sega Saturn for that very reason, because they were like, yeah, well, there's going to be no interest in RPGs outside Japan, so uh, just keep all that stuff over there. Yeah, all, all those games that would have sold like fucking hotcakes during the 32-bit era, because that was like an RPG thunderstorm, an RPG tsunami, an RPG hurricane, and it was, quite frankly, one of the best eras if you were a role-playing fan. But... In addition, I mean, there's a lot of games that I'm still crossing my fingers and hoping to death that they bring over here, but to them, they're like, yeah, well, it didn't sell, like, you know, a bunch of units, so we're not bringing them over. I'm still waiting for Yakuza 1 and 2 HD, still waiting for Yakuza 5. I'm like, why isn't this shit happening? Please make it fucking happen. But anyway, so I am I just kind of worry about that because that's kind of... Atlas's thing is to make niche games. So I don't want them to go and just relegate potentially really kick-ass titles to being Japan only. I would hate that because that that's one of the things that makes Atlas Atlas is that they go after a, a relatively small crowd but a very die-hard and faithful crowd. Myself is definitely included within that and have been ever since Persona 2 on PS1 so thank you very much for that. But um I would hope that if Sega's smart about this, what I would like them to do is just let them continue doing their thing. You know, be completely hands-off, and if you want to be hands-on with them, I would simply just go forth to them. Be like, okay, you already know that we're a video game company, we understand this market a whole bunch, unlike Index Digital Media, who very much was just like, yeah, we've got money. That, that's really about it. You can make money and we have money, so let, let's go and make this into like a very nice little business proposition. But um, I, I would want Sega to go and basically come to them and say, what didn't they do for you that you would like to have had done that you think would make things better for you as a company when it comes to publishing and developing and things of that nature? What do you think? And go from there. I would also like them to re retain the name Atlas wholeheartedly, because whenever I see that Atlas logo on anything, I'm like, bam, I gotta go and pick this up and check it out. And, and it genuinely, that, that's how I've always done things. Whenever I was little, when I saw, you know, uh, Konami on NES games, how they had like the silver border, it was something that I instantly recognized. I'd want to go pick up the game, look on the back. Uh, if I saw a Capcom logo on things, I'd want to go pick it up, look on the back. Um, Atlas, same exact thing. Um, back in the day when I saw Squaresoft on anything, I was just like, I gotta pick this up and look at it. And, you know, and there's a lot of people out there that they follow companies based, based off of the products that they put out. And, you know, they, they recognize them from, like, miles away because they like the stuff that they put out so often. So I would hope that they would do that. Even if it has to say Sega on one side and Atlas on another, what the fuck ever, just retain that exactly. But I, I truly hope that they don't go and pretty much say, hey, you can't put this out and you can't put this out. I wouldn't want them to go and change up anything that they do because I, I think that their business model, Atlas, I mean, I think that their business model has worked very well for them and they've steadily grown over time. 
you know, they used to be like a very, very, very small company that not a lot of people uh, knew about, but now they're starting to get much, much bigger and are getting really well known. That makes me happy because they put out tons of products and I'm still waiting. I hope that Sega goes over, puts her arm around them and is like, put out Persona 5. Yeah, I, it, just put out Persona 5. If you are going to do anything, put out Persona 5. I would like that a whole bunch. Keep in mind that right now I'm still playing through Persona 4 Golden. I'm about 45 hours now in, into the game and enjoying it just as much as I did the first time around. And also enjoying all the extra shit that they went and tossed into it. But again, being a big Persona fan, just just put that stuff out there. That that would be awesome. Persona 5, make it happen. I don't give a fuck what console it's coming out on. And as a matter of fact, thinking about that, the, you know, that brings me to another point. Since Sega uh, has dealings as a third-party company with pretty much every single platform from console to handheld, from console to PC, uh, I think that this would be a good way for Atlas to be able to branch out even further. Um, Sega seems to do pretty well on Steam. I would like to see some of the titles that um, Atlas has had put onto Steam. I would also like to see something, because Sega has been really good about making, you know, about full amounts of uh, collection uh, games where you know it'll be like a Sonic's Mega Collection and then uh, Sonic's Genesis Collection and things of that nature. I would want them to do something like that with Atlas. Maybe make an official Persona Collection or a, an official Shin Megami Tensei Collection or a anything of that nature. I would like to see something like that. Uh, this also could mean even more things for Sega in the arcade because since they have the licenses to that, maybe they could make, you know, tell them, hey, we want to go and develop something based off of your uh, intellectual properties now in the arcade in this kind of a genre. Or, you know, with uh, Sonic and All-Star Racing Transform, which I love the living shit out of, um, they could actually go and make, like, an official sequel to that and include some of the characters from that, which would make me extremely happy and then some. So I'd want to see some stuff like that. But all around, this is just really good news. Maybe, I mean, Dante did show up in Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, so maybe if they ever made an official sequel to that, we could see Bayonetta show up. That, 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 that could always work out. I mean, you know, makes sense. But, uh... You know, I'm, I'm not as down on the idea as a lot of people have been because, you know, Sega, unfortunately, over the years has had a, a pretty much a very a negative outlook on, at least to gamers. You know, they've seen some of their past dealings and how they've squandered some of their franchises, stuff like that, and have just been like, yeah, Sega's just a big fuck up of a company, but... Yeah, you know, I've seen them also do just as many good things, if not more than they have whenever they screwed up. So I don't really think that they will go and mess up anything like this. But the only thing that we can do is really sit back and wait. Um, Atlas themselves have said, even throughout this whole bidding war for them, said that everything was going to be business as usual for them. So they were still going to continue with their development of their various games. They were going to continue putting out whatever they needed to, exactly when it needed to get put out. So... If things weren't going to be fucked up for them, regardless of who was going to pick them up. So that's a really good thing. I'm just hoping that with Sega overseeing them, that this won't be something that'll hinder them in any kind of way. And if anything, kind of just broaden their horizons, allow them to do even more. Maybe give them more money to develop even bigger games, or to go and get more in-house development and, you know, hire on more people to get stuff cranked out even more. I just, I, I want to see stuff like that because I love the company to death. I like the things that they've brought out here that we normally would have had no chance in all fucking hell of ever receiving. And because of them, we did, you know, because of companies like Axis and because of companies like Exceed and because of companies like Working Designs when they were around and because of companies like Atlas, we had all these niche products come out here and get a hardcore following because of that. That always made me really happy, and, you know, I want that to continue, obviously. So, but with this all being said, with Sega teaming up with Atlas, do you think this will be a good thing? Do you think it'll be a bad thing? Do you think that nothing will really change? It's just Sega being attached to them? You know, whatever your opinion is, you can go and comment down below. You can't make a video response, though, because YouTube hasn't allowed that, so unfortunately I won't ever be requesting that ever again. That fucking sucks, by the way. Just saying. But, uh... 
Anyway, that's pretty much it. I don't actually think this will be a bad thing, if anything. I think it'll end up turning out to be good. I'm gonna remain positive about it until I'm given a reason to feel negative about it. You know, like, Sega says, Yeah, we're officially going to go and uh, cock block all the fans of these particular franchises because we don't feel that it's going to make enough bank. And uh, there you go. So since we painted this bullseye on our chest, Ready, aim, go! So, yeah. So I'm gonna remain positive until then. Anyway, this is Alpha Omega Sin. As always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers, game the fuck on. And play Atlas games, because they're awesome.